Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Progressive, where we are all about that. All about career, knowing the self, relationships, three most important aspects of how to drive your life, and about activations. So keep a watch on this channel, like, share, subscribe, and we'll take it further. Continuing from yesterday, we are going to be looking today at Manushya Ganas, the human beings, the lovely human beings, the brothers and sisters who are all about bricks and mortar. These people, Manushya Gana, the human beings. Manushya means human beings in Sanskrit. These people are basically the wonderful bricks and mortar people, the artists, the musicians, the people on the ground who are doing the work for us, the farmers on the field, uh, the engineers, the doctors, people who are working for us, right? We need all people in this world to make this world tick. It can't be about one thing. So watch this presentation and the picture speaks a million words in each one of these series because it contains the yantra, the symbol, it contains the planetary symbols, it contains the energy of the nakshatra, the animal representation, the bird representation, etc. etc. Lots of things are contained in these pictures. And we will go through what the themes of the nakshatras are, what do they mean, and with regard to Sattva, Rajas and Tamas. Now, if you don't know what Sattva, Rajas and Tamas are, you can follow me on the podcast. I also have Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify Podcasts, where I give a detailed audio versions of similar stories. This YouTube video I'm using as a platform for visual presentations because everything cannot be explained in words. But words also make an additional sense. So have a look at the podcast also. Please follow me on there because I post there regularly as well. And let's go through the presentation. Please go through the presentations and like, share and subscribe. Take good care of yourself and have a safe and wonderful day. Into the presentation today, the first one of the Manushya Ganas, the human being group of the nine, is Bharani Nakshatra. Or the Bharani constellation falls in the zodiac sign of Aries. It is balanced female sign, fierce and rajasic. Most of, or actually all of, the, the Manushya Ganas are rajasic in nature. That means they fluctuate between the sattva energy and the tamasic energy. Sometimes they are more spiritual in nature, sometimes they are very materialistic in nature. So this is the dualistic. The Manushya Ganas are caught firmly in the grasp of duality all the time. So the Bharani is no exception. There's Rajasik, extremely Rajasik. Even if it comes Tamasik here, there's still pretty much Rajasik sign. What are the other themes? It is revival through death and rebirth. It speaks of the ancestral energy because it is ruled by, ruled by Yama, the Lord of Death. He's all about Dharma. Dharma is doing the right thing. This is about secrecy moral and ethical values, social causes. These people are fighters of the social injustice everywhere they go. The Bharani Nakshatra, beautiful sign. Next one on the list is Rohini Nakshatra. Rohini falls in the sign of Taurus. It is balanced, fixed, female and Rajasik in nature. Themes of the uh, Rohini Nakshatra, which is ruled, Nakshatra itself is ruled by Moon, but it falls in the sign of Taurus, which is signified by Venus there. Okay, the top ones are all about the zodiac, the bottom ones is the Nakshatra ruler. So, themes of Rohini also are transport. They work in transport industry, by the way, more. They are about prosperity, abundance, beauty, Arts, drama and music, they are very, very creative people, okay? Success through alternative paths. One of the themes that plays out in the Rohini Nakshatra people, if more of your planets and points are in the Rohini, that means you will be dealing with these things. Success through alternative paths, discovering new paths, okay? Next one on our group, Ardra Nakshatra, which falls in the zodiac sign of Gemini. It's balanced, female, sharp and tamasic. This sharp itself shows that they are about intellect, they are about mind, Rahu and Mercury together. It is uh, Nakshatra ruled by Rahu at the bottom and Mercury is Gemini. The combination of this makes for 
engineers kind of mentality many engineers have prominent mars and saturn in ardra nakshatra because the mind and the thinking capacity is out of the box it's non-traditional approach and they are the unsung heroes guess what guess what engineers of this world are they are the unsung heroes they build the whole world yet nobody knows they are doing it they have an energy of being faithful loyalty signified even by the dog there and they love freedom they love freedom of thought and expression signified by rahu rahu loves individuation it loves individual thought it's all about how do i stand apart from the rest of the crowd of the world that's what rahu provides as an energy okay next on our list of the nine is purva falguni it falls on the zodiac sign of leo it is balanced female fierce and rajasic now because this zodiac is ruled by the sun but it falls within the ambit of venus the hammock right there itself shows these people have come to chill out in this lifetime if more of your planets and points especially moon and ascendant are in puro falguni you come to pretty much chill out this lifetime so they love enjoying sexuality rewards of the past births that's what falguni means fal means fruit fruit from the past life okay puro falguni so they are about rewards of the past birth they are about friendship they are about entertainment many of the actors of hollywood and bollywood come from the purva falguni nakshatra because this requires also fame sun wants fame wherever it is they are about problem solving they are about inheritance of large legacy this is why all these film stars in hollywood have large ranches they inherit that or they create that they are about persevering not preserving that's a spelling mistake right there the next one on our list after purva falguni is uttra falguni all this purva and uttra come into this manushya gana okay falls in the zodiac sign of virgo it is balanced fixed female and rajasic see how many rajasic signs are there all of manushya ganas are ruled by rajasic energy they are constantly moving restless people of the materialistic world so this is a nakshatra ruled by the sun but within the zodiac sign of virgo which is ruled by gemini so what does this give them this provides them with a life theme of patronage they are guardians of the light they are noble and honorable all about the sun energy being in the nakshatra guardians of the light adventurous earth protectors and explorers why earth protectors and explorers because virgo is an earth sign when virgo earth sign comes into the nakshatra of purva falguni with these two combinations of sun and mercury they become explorers adventurous people they want to move around they are the earth protectors the tree huggers the shamans of this world they come from there uttra falguni beautiful nakshatra next one on our list is purva ashada nakshatra falls in the zodiac sign of sagittarius it is balanced female fierce and rajasic so the nakshatra is ruled by venus but falls within the ambit of the zodiac sign of ruled by jupiter sagittarius is ruled by jupiter all right so what are the themes of their life they are about strength and victory jupiter perseverance and courage again jupiter humble and truth seeking jupiter artistic loyal venus gallant and obstinate both jupiter and venus combined see how the energy plays out in each one of these nakshatras okay next one will be uttra shada after purva shada is uttra shada it falls in the zodiac sign of capricorn ruled by saturn as you can see on top it is balanced fixed female and rajasic in nature it is the themes of life playing out as victorious powerful sun and saturn actually are enemies in the zodiac signs itself but this is we are speaking of not zodiac signs but nakshatras so this is a nakshatra ruled by sun but falls in the sign ruled by Cap, uh, saturn that's why it wants power powerful it wants victory saturn wants fame all the time okay sun wants fame towards themselves not in the external world saturn wants the presence in the external world sun wants to feel it in himself 
Responsible, dedication, honesty, control. Responsible and dedication comes from the energy of Saturn. They are all about honesty, controlled, calm behavior. They have high aims and goals. Again, it comes down to Saturn and Sun both. Okay. Next on our list, Purva Bhadrapada. After Uttarashada, Purva Ashada, we come to Purva Bhadrapada. Next will be Uttra Bhadrapada. Okay. So Purva Bhadrapada comes in the zodiac sign of Aquarius. It is passive, male, fierce, and sattvic. We come to the sattvic energy over here in Purva Bhadrapada. They are about thoughtfulness. Okay, the nakshatra is ruled by Jupiter. Falls in the sign of Aquarius, which is co-ruled by Saturn and Rahu, and also by Uranus, the unconventional sign of Aquarius. They are about thoughtfulness, inclined to mysticism. Well, this entire combination gives powerful inclination towards mysticism. They are about commitment. They are very genuine people. Eccentric comes from Aquarius. Gloomy comes from Aquarius again. If Saturn is stuck in the head, these people get gloomy very fast. They can be prone to depression. They should be cautious of that. It's about fickle and a warrior energy. Rahu is very fickle combined with Uranus. They are conservative in nature. These are the themes that play out through Purva Bhadrapada. The next one on our list and the last one of the nine of Manushya Ganas is Uttra Bhadrapada. Falls in the zodiac sign of Pisces. They are balanced, male, fixed and tamasic. The nakshatra itself is ruled by Saturn. That's the picture there. And co-ruled in the zodiac sign of Pisces by Jupiter and Neptune together. That's powerful spiritual combination right there. They are investigative. They make good investigators. They are honest people, focused and helpful. Kind and very liberal kind of mentality. See, Saturn gives a liberal mentality everywhere it goes. It's about the crowd. It's about other people. It's not I, me, myself kind of a planet. That is the sun. Therefore, they can become good counselors. They are very principled. They are wise. On the downside, they can be careless and lethargic. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is my take on the Manushya Gana's nine set. Beautiful crowd, beautiful people. We need these people to make this planet tick. And if you don't know where you are falling in all of this, whether your planets and points are in which nakshatra and how does it drive your career or your relationships, get in touch with me in the Facebook page of mine. Also, follow me on the podcast, which I have linked up before. Take care, be safe, and have a great day. Thank you.